Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a short preview to Game 2 between the Phillies and the Braves. If you want to watch the long series preview, that is on my channel. You can go back and look at that out, and please like, comment, and subscribe here if you enjoy the content, either down below or on the easy widget at the end of the video on the Professor Joe widget. Now, yesterday, of course, the Phillies got the pitching they expected from Wheels. Zach Wheeler, he pitched seven innings, only gave up two runs. Then Hector Neeris came in, who's been really good this year, and I'm actually part of the Hector re-sign train, not as a closer, but as a regular reliever, because he's been very good since moving to that role, minus only, I want to say I remember two outings, one that was recent in this final month, and one that I believe was in August, if I remember correctly, that he struggled in, but once he moved out of the closer role. So he's been good in that aspect. Yesterday, the only problem was he couldn't do zilch, other than Didi Gregorius' ninth inning sack fly offensively. Philly's offense have been abysmal, of late, dating back, obviously, to um, Sunday's game when they got smoked um, 6 to nothing, They were able to get one run, and then they, that obviously ain't enough. You're playing Atlanta. You're playing the team that's in first place in your damn division over you for a reason. It's because they've been a little bit, obviously not very more consistent than you. Otherwise, they'd be way ahead of you in the division. But they've been a little bit more consistent than you when it comes on both ends. I talked about that in the video yesterday. They only scored two freaking runs yesterday, but they were still able to pitch well enough to hold the Phillies. The Phillies, it would be great if they were able to get a win like that because right now our offense is not going. So the Phillies might need Aaron Nola th this night, tonight, who's the pitcher for tonight's ball game, to be the Aaron Nola of old and pitch really well. Like Charlie Morton was able to hold the Phillies off with that great breaking ball yesterday and their bullpen was able to come in and hold the Phillies off as well. The Phillies are going to, I think, need that flip side today in order to win this game, they're going to need the old Knowles, or they're just going to need whatever the hell happens with the offense, where the offense just gets knocked upside the head and wakes up when Aaron Nola pitches, and they're down, and they're like, oh crap, we have to score, because they've done that twice for Nola in the last month. So they either need that to happen, where all of a sudden the offense wakes up because Aaron Nola's pitching for some unexplicable reason, which is a good thing to see, but it's an unexplicable reason. You can't pinpoint why the hell the offense does great for him when in past years they've sucked for him, honestly, and then comes back all of a sudden. Or are you going to need the spot on Aaron Nola, the Aaron Nola of old, and you're going to have to try to win a game like the Braves won yesterday because this Phillies offense looked very bleak against Charlie Morton in game one, and they're facing a very good opponent tonight who is also left-handed, which is concerning, since our Phillies do not face lefties. Well, 13-7 and seven with a 3-12 ERA, Max Free. And then Nola, of course, is the 4-6-4 ERA at 9-8, and eight, which realistically he got a win obviously last game because the team came back. He didn't even deserve that win, but he got it, so he's 9-8. and eight. So you're going to need Aaron Nola to pitch like the pitcher everybody knows he can be when he's at his best. Otherwise, I think the Phillies are going to be done tonight. This will be the last game that we truly care about for playoff contention because if they lose tonight, they're going to be 4.5 out. If they win, they're going to go back 2.5 out. Then if they win tomorrow, they could be 1.5 out. So there's still peachy keen, maybe some optimism going. I see some optimism in our Facebook groups. I definitely love to see that, but... From the game the other night, last night, it was really, once JT didn't get that hit in the first, I even posted in some pictures like, oh God, Phillies, it just had the feel of a game they weren't going to get the offense going, and they didn't. They had a DD sack fly in the ninth, and then absolutely zilch. So obviously, <clears throat> the big key to today's game, the better way to win would be get the damn offense going. But that would only happen if it's just, oh my God, we're awake. Aaron Nola's pitching, now we can score. That way, because of late, the offenses didn't look good Sunday, and they looked pitiful yesterday as well. So you're more likely going to have to see the old Nola of old, which is the second key. Aaron Nola has to pitch like Aaron Nola throughout his career, and not this 2021 season in order for us to win this game. And I think that's the most likely way the Phillies are going to be able to win. Unless if they just keep scoring in rough shot for some reason, when Knowles pitches compared to anybody else at this point of the season. So that's what they're going to have to do today. They're going to need the great Aaron Nola, or they're going to need to somehow just have that offense keep churning when he's pitching, which makes no sense, but it's a great thing to see compared to others and have one of the Bash brothers in Bryce Harper, unfortunately, reaches out, continue to do his thing and get going, and they're going to need to do it against a lefty, one of the better young lefties in baseball, Max Fried, and this team doesn't hit lefties too peachy keen. So obviously the last thing we'll do to wrap up this video is go over the lineup. Um, Something that did surprise me um, tonight is Odubel Herrera is still leading off. I'm not surprised he's in the lineup because you're not going to keep Brad Miller in the lineup over Odubel against the lefty. You can hit them a bit. But I'm surprised he's still leading off instead of Veerling since Veerling kind of smashes lefties. Odubel's just solid against lefties. 
but he's still leading off. Gene Segura is batting second. Harper's batting third. JT's batting fourth. Kutch is still manning the fifth spot. Also part of re-signed Kutch team, like I said before. I think his RBI and homer potential is enough. Yeah, 220 average ain't what you want, but if he does 76 to 80 some RBIs, mid-20 homers, I'll take that any season. Matt Veerling's at first base tonight. Been playing a great first base. Doesn't have a lot of experience there. And uh, he's batting six. Didi's going to bat seven. A little bit surprised that they didn't... Um, Put Roto maybe at shortstop and go with Galvis at third for this game. But Didi's going to bat seventh. Roto's playing third, batting eighth. And then Aaron Nola's going to bat ninth. I would imagine if you see Gal or not Galvis, excuse me, Didi struggle le against lefties, you would probably see somebody else come in right-handed later in the game. You also have Alec Boehm up now, so you can use him as a pinch hitter against a lefty if you want to. He was on deck yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see what we're able to do. But that's the lineup that the Phillies got going. For the Braves, it is Jorge Soler first, Freeman second, Albies third, Riley fourth, Adam Duvall fifth, Rosario sixth, Eddie Rosario seventh, Travis Dayarno, eighth, Dansby Swanson, and ninth, of course, Max Fried. So that has been the preview to game two of the Phillies versus Braves. The Phillies are going to need the NOLA of all, most likely, because their offense has not been churning whatsoever lately. Or they're just going to need the damn offense to wake up like they just get knocked out of a... 1970, 1969 Woodstocks party or something when Aaron Nola was pitching because all of a sudden that offense gets going. So you're going to need the Noles of old or the offense to randomly decide that they're great when Aaron Nola pitches. Everyone have a great day and pleasant day. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Stay safe out there and go Phillies. This is your make or break game, Aaron Nola. You need to show up. Peace out, everybody.